Welcome to the Daily Mother of Wands Energetic Musings. My name is Volami and we do this video every single day where we go over the astrology, the cards, the crystals, the herbs, and even the cosmic question that I channel for you guys at the end. So thanks for joining me. Today is April 28th and we've got the moon in Aquarius for most of the day. And um, it's going to be making this very harmonious sextile with Jupiter in its fiery home sign of Sagittarius. Now, this is going to be expanding our desires for social endeavors and life can really begin to take on a more positive outlook today. We're feeling more optimistic and we may even have a mag magnetic pull towards financial abundance and um, plans that are created now um, might have like longer staying power than usual. Around 4 11 p.m. mountain time the moon is going to move into Pisces which it likes being in and uh, we have this very fanciful and imaginative mood when the moon moves into Pisces and we might even be seeming like a little bit distracted from others or in our heads, but we are most likely doing this because we're plotting up grandiose plans and ideas because a lot of new ideas might be birthed in this period of time, this very dreamy and emotional period of time as well. Today, I think as far as the energetic botanical balancers, the uh, manifestational motivator in the spritz form is the one I'm recommending today because literally like I'm saying, all these new ideas, why not give them a little bit of extra boost in manifesting with the this blend that I've made for you guys, especially for this purpose. For today's crystal, I brought out another smoky gem. If you remember yesterday, we did the smoky in Rutile. Today, we're doing a smoky quartz, super dark. This stuff comes out of Tongbei, China. This is smoky quartz with, you see those little garnets? Those are Spessartine garnets growing on the side, the most orange of all the garnets. Now, why did I pick this one? Well, because it helps to clean and refine anything that's happening when we are out there daydreaming with this moon in Pisces. We might get all these ideas and our mind might kick in like, but could you even, can we even, we might try to block ourselves. And um, the Smoky Quartz is gonna keep that from happening as well as the um, Spessartine garnet is gonna give this extra boost to our willpower to really go out and manifest these visions that we're creating in this period of time. So when I uh, pulled today, I pulled from the Abundance and the Law of Attraction Oracle deck, I believe it's called. And <laughs> um, both of them, of course, have to do with money because they're about money and the Law of Attraction. Um, but the first one that I noticed was this one. Money isn't everything but... <laughs> You're right when you think money isn't everything. You certainly do not need money to have joy in your experience, but in your society, there is so much of what you live that is tied up to money in some way. Most of you associate money with freedom. And since freedom is a basic tenet of your being, then coming into alignment with money will help you to establish a balanced footing that will be of value to you in all other aspects of your experience. Also, I also I'll oftentimes find that because we are so convinced that we're free and we always think of ourselves as free beings, especially here in the United States, we always think of this freedom, um, but we feel locked up and, and tied up with money sometimes that it's easier if we think about money in terms of freedom, like I am abundantly free, also means that you're going to get all the resources you need to enjoy your freedom. So sometimes when we're working with our manifestations and our affirmations, especially working with freedom can be one step towards making those affirmations directly about money if you have any kinds of guarding around money. So this other one that came out was the physical me is materialized spirit. Some say that you should not want money for at all because the desire for money is materialistic and not spiritual, but we want you to remember that you are here in this very physical world where spirit has materialized. You cannot separate yourself from the aspect of yourself that is spiritual, and while you are here in these bodies, you cannot separate yourselves from that which is physical or material. All of the magnificent things at, of, na of a physical nature um, that are surrounding you are also spiritual in nature. Now, this card is really reminding us that we are spiritual as well as material beings, and we need all of these things for survival. And so why did I pull from the money and law of attraction deck? Well, it's because it's sextiling with Jupiter, the planet of abundance in the home sign of Sagittarius, which is also expansive and abundant. And it's meeting up with Aquarius, that Aquarian moon, and so oftentimes we have this idea, oh, well, I can't have money because I, I, it's not right, it's the root of evil, it's the whatever, whatever, all that crap. And honestly, just think about, today's cosmic question is, think about, 
you as this beautiful being on your path of evolve, evolving and, and becoming more spiritually aware and having a deeper spiritual connection with all of life around you, being aware of how you're investing your money every single day, being aware of um, who you're voting for with your dollars at the grocery store, at you know your clothing rack, wherever it is that you're doing your shopping. And so for today's cosmic question, because of this humanitarian aspect of the moon in Aquarius for this first half of the day when it meets with Jupiter, I really saw the question come through as when you have all of the riches that you desire and more, how will you support the society in which we live? What would you be investing in? What would you be giving to? What charities would you start or support? What ways would you give back to your local community or the world? And today, that's really the focus. What we'll dream in there, breathe a little life into those visions, and do some maybe some affirmations that let you know that that abundance is already on its way, is already meeting up with you now. Thanks so much for being here with me, guys. And I will be on Instagram Live tonight. Check my stories to know what time. I'll be doing huge sales of all my crystals before I head out to uh, Beltane Southwest that's taking place in in, um, Eastern Albuquerque, I believe it is in the mountains. If anyone's there, I will see you. And if not, get ready to be spammed with lots of outdoorsy photos because me and my son are going to be hanging out in a tent all weekend. So thanks so much for joining me. And until next time, as always, I am seeing so much bliss in your direction.